I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to do the full sleeve temporary tattoos on a tumbler. This is one that I started and then I decided I should do a tutorial on the for the other side. Um, I got these tattoos on Amazon. You can buy them smaller, which this is like a half sheet. Some of them are not very good quality. Some of them are better. Um, so those are the small ones. Then there's the larger ones. You can see they would fit a full arm. Again, the quality on some of them is pretty bad. Some of them is good, like this one. This is the other half. I cut it in half, and I'm going to put it on the other side of this tumbler. So, let's get my stuff out of the way. I have the cup. It's just painted white, spray painted. And the tattoo. It has the protective sheet on it. I did cut around the design. Um, it is much bigger than my cup, you can see. But I'm going to um, cut the extra off after. So you need scissors to cut. I use my X-Acto knife to trim the edges. You need a damp rag. And I think that's it. So I'm going to go and show you how to do it quickly. It's very easy. Um, this is a tattoo, so you're going to place the design side down on your cup after you peel off the protective layer. And this is a little bit sticky, so what I noticed is you want to figure out where you're going to put it before you actually touch the cup, because once you touch the cup, it may ruin the design on here. So I'm just going to stick it on there where I want it. Figure out how to line this up. And I want this bird on there. So I'm going to try to get that in the right spot. And some of the design is going to wrap around the sides of this cup and overlap, and that's okay. If you, would, if you don't want it to, cut them off. It still will look nice. So I'm just going to turn this sort of so I can get the bird on there. And once it's on, you're going to flatten it out on the cup. Hold it in place. And grab your rag. And this is damp. I squeezed out all the water. Just like you would apply a tattoo on your skin. And this is how I do it. I lie it over the paper and hold it against the cup like this. And you're going to uh, hold it for like 15 to 20 seconds, I guess, until it starts to come off of the backing. And now I'm pressing all along the cup so that it forms to the cup because some cups are tapered at the bottom. This one is. And it also has a little line in the bottom of the cup. So I want it to wrap around there nicely. And it does wrinkle a little bit, but you can't really tell too much. And you can feel on the inside here when it's releasing from the paper. So I'm just going to let it come off of there. And if you look at the bottom, I actually wrap the tattoo on the bottom side of there. You don't have to, but I do, just, just because. So you want to get that bottom side wet, place it down on the cup. Let's see if I can show you how to do that. And allow it to get wet on there. We'll see if it's ready to come off. This is the other side, but we'll pull this and see. Yeah, see, it's coming off now. So let's make sure the edges on top are ready to peel off. See it coming off on the top there? 
So we'll let that release. Make sure that's stuck down. Take your, it doesn't look completely wet under there, although it might be stuck on there, we don't know. And now you can remove your backing and see it, how it overlapped on the other side. And I did get my bird on there. Now this le leaves a little bit of wrinkle. You can just press it down gently with your finger and it will lie flat on the cup. Now you have all this junk on the top. You can take your X-Acto knife if you want. Um, I guess you could use scissors. I just prefer to use this way. Or you just be careful it rips off. Try not to get the edge of the cup here. You want to just kind of round over the edge and clean it up a bit. It's a little wet, so it's kind of sticky. You can also let it dry longer. I just was trying to get it done for the video. You just pull them off. Then you have your cup. Now, if you moved it over like I did on this side, because I wanted that bird You can take some alcohol ink once this is all the dry and you can take like a sponge brush and sponge in some color on there so that it kind of blends in or leave it if you want. You can add glitter to it. I usually let this dry for maybe 12 hours or so, sometimes a day if I'm busy, um, but I do give it enough time to dry. And then I put epoxy over it. You can put glitter on it. Um, I would epoxy and then add the glitter if I were doing it that way. But that's it. It's that easy. Thanks.